children who were burnt in the dormitory are, are not easily recognized. So, however, um, the bodies were taken to the mortuary. And then the 20 girls uh, uh, also were killed. Now we know that they were killed with pangas. The, the auditors spent some two days in, at that school, auditing the books of the school. And uh, they finished on Thursday and left the school on Thursday. And the children were killed on Friday. So another point that, that came up, that uh, this school has been uh, in, uh, there has been groups in Kasese who wanted to take it over, but because the school was built by an NGO, there has been that conflict between those groups that wanted to take over the school and the NGO which actually built the school. It's uh, an impression that perhaps the, the terrorist group may have been used by the people who were fighting to take over the school to do what they have done. But that information will come out at a later stage. My colleague, Honorable Miyingo, who quickly flew to that area, to the school, with the permanent secretary for the Ministry of Education and the commissioner in charge of private schools to get to the grassroots and, and really find out more information so that we can know exactly what happened. The president also helped us with some support for the affected families to help to arrange the funerals and, uh, and help them to manage in this very difficult time. So on behalf of the government of Uganda and the Ministry of Education and Sports, on my own behalf, I express our sincere condolences and deepest sympathies to the bereaved families, the students, the staff of this school on this terrible tragedy. I want to appeal to all people of goodwill in the country to pray for those families and the community in the area parents across the country, please do not panic. Our children are safe, and they will remain safe. They are evil people, and they are trying to harm our children, but they will not manage all, all ways. I am confident that the God we serve, who sees all things, will lead the UPDF force to track down these evil people and they will pay for what they have done.